Hi, and welcome to Genesis AI. Today, I would like to introduce you to a new feature that we've been developing here at Genesis AI that would allow users to add their own APIs and AI models to our marketplace. To do this, I created a clone of a model that we have here called Named Entity Recognition developed internally. And as you can see, this is the open API JSON doc for it. It has some descriptions, it has some endpoints, it has some inputs, and it has some sample outputs that we're gonna use in our example today. So how do we add this to our marketplace? First, you log into your Genesis AI account and you go to My APIs. Hit on Add New API and you'll be presented with a form that is gonna to need to be filled out in order to create your API. Let's walk through these fields. First is the subdomain. Subdomain is basically used in order to organize all of your APIs in the marketplace. It will be the single point of reference that all your APIs is registered under and it must be unique. Here I chose my name to be my subdomain and it gets propagated to this path that you see down here. Next is the API path. This is uh, the path that users will use in order to access your API externally. It must be also unique to your subdomain, i.e. you can't have uh, same API path under your user. For this case, I'm gonna choose a very simple NER sample API, for example. API name is a user-friendly name for your API, which I'm gonna fill out as NER sample API. Next, we're gonna copy paste the description of the API here, like so, and we're gonna choose a category. It can be anything you'd like. Um, in my case, I think that my API mostly relates to communication, and so I'm gonna add that as an API. Next, we're gonna be taken to a wizard that will need to be filled out in order for you to publish the API. First, hit add base URL, and this is gonna be the exter publicly accessible external URL that you're gonna need to fill out. Hit add base URL, and for my sample, I'm gonna choose some custom domain.com, which is very unique to what I'm doing right now. Hit save. If you are API or your authentication mechanism requires you to add some kind of product key, API key, or any kind of custom headers, this would be the place where you add those out. You can add the descriptions as well. Next, we have the endpoints. My sample has two endpoints. It has entities by type and it has entities. I'm gonna add those two to my API. So I create a REST endpoint, call it entities. I will go ahead and add the description for the set entities here. The method is gonna be post. The first endpoint is called entities. I'll hit save. This creates my first endpoint. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do that for the second endpoint. It's called entities by type. I'm gonna take the description. Like so, paste the description. It's gonna be a post. Like this. Hit save. Now, we, now that we have the two entities created and their names, we're ready to publish the API. The, by default, it's gonna get published as version 1.0. If you'd like to change the version, you can always go to back to the second step and add additional versions here with uh, wh whatever you'd like. Hit publish. And now your API has been published right here. As you can see, it's missing the about, the pricing, the install and run sections, 
in order for users to be able to use your API, you're going to need to create the pricing for the API. It could be a combination of sample or um, free pricing or a combination of paid pricing and free pricing. We'll cover that in the other videos on our channel. Thanks for joining me and see you soon.